Hello everyone, today I will show you how to create an airdrop website with the condition that the user needs to be holding another token in order to be eligible for an airdrop. Now this is how the website looks, it can be fully customized very easily, just change the background image to your uh, own and the logo and also the text here i will be giving this for free i will leave a link on the description and now i'm gonna show you how to set it up so this is how it looks the first thing we're gonna do after we get uh, the files we're going to deploy the smart contract first now this is the contract all you have to do is set the airdrop amount here we have set it at one because we're going to test with usdt and busd on binance smart chain this works for all networks but we're going to test on binance smart chain so the user needs to be holding a usdt token in order to claim BUSD, BUSD airdrop. So uh, we deploy the token with the smart contract here. I've set the airdrop to one token. And uh, after that, we need to compile. Make sure you select the compiler version 0 0.8.4. It will not work with the 0 0.2820 okay after that we go to the deployer injected provider and here make sure you add the token addresses uh, correctly so the token address is the token we are giving as an airdrop so we will add the busd address here and the approved token address is the token the user needs to be a holder of in order to get the airdrop so we're gonna set usdt this will work for any tokens okay i'm just testing with uh, busd and usdt click transact and confirm the transaction it costs like one dollar to deploy Okay, it's deployed, now we need to verify the contract. Okay, it is automatically verified since I have deployed this before now after we have deployed we see here we have the the functions the function airdrop is the one that will be used on the website here we have claim token uh, deposit withdraw and transfer and renounce ownership now the next thing we do is we send the airdrop token to the contract so i'm gonna send to BUSD to the contract remember we have the the airdrop amount one BUSD okay so so now the next thing we do is we integrate the contract with our website you can do that by opening the files on Visual Studio Code and all you have to do is change the contract address at these two files. One is here and the other one here. Click Save. Save All. Make sure you select Save All, this one. And you can also um, 
change the text and everything here you have them here at the end okay after that you want to upload the files to your host we're gonna do that now we zip the files and uh, we're gonna upload and test it how it works okay we go to our host okay so we unzip the files by clicking extract and we go to the website okay as you can see here it is working fine now we're going to test how it works now as you can see here i do not i am not holding usdt with this uh, wallet so I'm going to try to claim and it will give an error. But if I go to this other wallet where I am holding, uh, let me disconnect from this one. Okay. I go to this wallet where I am holding uh, USDT, as you can see here. Um, let me show you because I forgot to add USDT as you can see here I got one USDT let me add so you can be sure it works okay I'm holding one USDT in this wallet and if I try to claim eardrop it will work perfectly now let's see you see here I got one BUSD okay you see here I claimed one BUSD airdrop function called one BUSD sent it takes some time to update here but it's uh, only one okay so this is it how it works guys thank you for watching and check the description to get the files and see you next time